it is very painful for Kenya that a conversation this crucial was hijacked by dangerous people who have caused us the kind of loss we have, we have incurred as a nation today. It is possible that the criminals who rained terror on innocent people and attempted to challenge our law enforcement deployments are still determined to continue with their dangerous behavior. I assure the nation of the government's determination to fulfill its constitutional duty of protecting the people of Kenya against all forms of harm. I hereby put on notice the planners, financiers, orchestrators, and abettors of violence and anarchy that the security infrastructure established to protect our republic and its sovereignty will be deployed to secure the country and restore normalcy. It is not in order or even conceivable that criminals pretending to be peaceful protesters can reign terror against the people, their elected representatives, and the institutions established under our constitution and expect to go scot-free. We must isolate crime from democratic expression and separate criminals from people exercising the freedom of expression and divergent opinion. I shall continue to lead a government that is fully committed to maintaining the integrity of our state, promoting the unity of our nation, and enhancing the peace and security of all citizens and their livelihoods. I am bound under sacred constitutional mandate to respect, uphold, and defend the Constitution of Kenya, which declares that all sovereign power belongs to the people, and that this power shall be exercised only in accordance with the Constitution. The government will therefore uphold its constitutional mandate to secure our nation and its development and shall treat every threat to national security and the integrity of our state as an existential danger to our republic. <laughs>